Hi guys and welcome to Podcover Sports Talks. We are just going to talk about the Manchester United versus Chelsea meetup at Stamford Bridge. So, starting off, Manchester United had an extremely extremely good game and if they can keep up with this form, they are in 7th right now after after the win against Chelsea. They might have a chance in, of going into the top 4 and eventually playing the UEFA Champions League in the next season. So, good game for Manchester United and uh a really bad day and kind of an unlucky day for uh, Chelsea. Starting off in the early minutes, Kante was subbed off due to an injury and he might be out for a long time, but we don't know about it yet. Uh, next is, in my opinion, uh, next comes up is Fred Van Bissaka, Anthony Marshall and uh, Harry Maguire and also Eric Bai. So these are the highlights of, like these are the players that really made an impact in this victory and I also feel that the absence of Kante did affect Chelsea uh, uh, to a certain level but we never know because he didn't play. Let's start with the first goal. First goal, great header by uh, Anthony Marshall and also we saw Bruno van der Rist playing wearing the red jersey again. Uh, he had a really good game. Uh, he showed that he does have this uh, appetite for shooting from long distances and uh, if you have watched the match you can see that from his free kick it was almost a goal just the uh, the bar saved Chelsea from another goal so for for Bruno Fernandes it is it was a great game and he was subbed off at the 90th so going on to Anthony Marshall he did take care of the left flank all by himself and also assisted by Brandon Williams uh, Anthony Marshall did a great job in uh, initiating attacks from the left and going inside and shooting and at the end he got himself a goal and that too with a header. Eric Bai and Harry Maguire did a strange combination today uh, in the last na- last night where Eric Bai and uh, Harry Maguire like patched up in one position and then they pushed each other not the other players they pushed each other and then Harry Maguire like freed himself and got off as a free man and a thumping header into the back of the net so a good game for the captain stepping up and giving the uh, insurance goal for the red for the Man United team Chelsea on the other hand was kind of uh, unlucky where the first goal, which was uh, 11 minutes after uh, Zuma came in, uh, Zuma came in, uh, he scored a goal, but that was ruled out by War uh, as Aspilicueta shoved his shoulder into a Man United player, probably Brandon Williams, uh, and also which was initiated by Fred from behind. So uh, that was a clear cut foul, and thus the goal was nullified by War. Next is. Uh, Giroud's goal, he came off 10 minutes before the uh, before the 90 and uh, his goal was also uh, called off because of war because his feet was inches inside the offside zone. So bad luck for Chelsea. Um, Mason Mount on the other hand did a really really good job uh, came, coming off coming on in place of uh, uh, Kante and that's a pretty big responsibility for the 20 year old Englishman to come in place of Kante and act as a replacement but he did his part he did really well uh, in, for Chelsea uh, in the right right hand side Williams did a really good job strong defending strong crosses and strong game as Pilicota whereas in the beginning of the match we thought that that was the uh, real area where uh, United might exploit because Aspilicueta is a right-sided player whereas he was playing on the left side as a left fullback. Uh, so, but that didn't happen. But anyway, uh, Chelsea had a bad, bad night and Lampard just wants to forget it. Uh, the next thing that really shocked me is how United threaded passes in the midfield and whenever they lost the passes, lost the ball, they like they fo- f- fell back all together so they were attacking together they were defending together that was uh, that really made the difference because we could see there when chelsea had a few breaks and they they were running hard uh, towards the man united goal 
uh, within seconds they were outnumbered by the by red jerseys so that was a really really good thing and that is one of the reasons uh, united did not concede uh, too many goals and did not concede a single goal and did not make any defensive errors whatsoever eric bai on the other hand did really well because he showed great composure strength mental strength and uh, great passes like he, he was doing 360 inside the penalty box man united fans uh, were during the screening they were going crazy because what, what because that's not something you do inside the penalty box but he did and it was effective he played quite an offensive role today uh, yesterday and went on up the pitch and down the pitch and really did his part and he was rated at rated 8 at the end of the match along with maguire maguire getting the getting a thumping goal and giving the lead so 2-0 for shoshkar side and they are up till 7 right now so if they can keep up with this thing uh, i'm sure they're going to go for ucl next year they're going to play ucl and not win it most likely they won't win it if they play uh, but they have a good chance of uh, participating in the ucl next year also from shoshkar side he should be really happy and the formation 3 4 did click uh as brandon williams and van bisaka acted as wide men on the flank and uh, and contributed as both offensively and defensively uh marshall daniel james uh did have an impact but i uh, personally feel he did not play up to his mark bruno fernandes on the other hand re- did really really well uh he put up a good show on the pitch yesterday uh, with a great 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 passing ability great vision and also he's one of the best aspects which is shooting uh, if you remember his free kick uh, it, it was a thumpy free kick and uh, cabellero really could not understand from where the ball was coming uh, the bar the woodwork saved cabellero from another goal uh, So Bruno Fernandes had a great start to United career and hopefully he's going to continue this and uh, in the coming days we might see more of this and the team is slowly slowly settling down into their uh, stride and hopefully they'll do way way better in the in the next upcoming games for Chelsea uh, not a bad game but an unlucky game but they need to pick up these things and uh, also take a uh, utilize and exploit the chances they were get they were getting they actually got quite a few chances where they could have used some different strategy to score the goals could have passed the ball in some ways where they where they didn't so uh they might need a tactical refresher so this is my analysis of yesterday's Chelsea versus Man United game at Stamford Bridge so if you want to add something do add it in the comment section we'll definitely be are uh, going to cover that and till then uh see you guys and don't forget to subscribe comment down your views and share this with your friends and let's keep watching uh football like never before